Hey everyone, this is Jillian Graham, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to embed Google Slides on a Google site and show you an option to where if you wanted you could hide the navigation menu in the embedded slide. Okay, so here is a Google site example and I've just embedded a couple different sizes. This is a small um, with the navigation menu at the bottom. This is a small without it. And this is a medium um, without it. You can't see the whole thing here, but I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like from the browser. So if they were viewing it from a computer, this is what it would look like. So the small size is a little small, but um, this is a great size for a mobile device. So you may want to consider um, embedding both sizes um, and just having that mobile option below it maybe for your students or whoever's viewing your website from their mobile device um, because if you use this size which I love for um, the um, computer this is very large for a phone it might look great on a tablet I haven't tried it but um, this is you'd have to pan around it on a phone which is not great um, so it depending on you know what you're going for you might choose a different size but all of these have different functionality so like this one has the the bar at the bottom and um, you can have it start and play through like if it's a video you can have it automatically start as soon as they open your website but um, you know, my, all my animation still works. I could play this. It just plays a uh, 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 YouTube music video. Um, but they can get around the slide using this bar down here, and they can get to any slide they want. On this version, it just looks nicer. It's a little bit cleaner. There's no bar at the bottom. Um, they can still click through it to get to the different slides. Um, all of these things still link to everything they need. Um, typically, I would I would post just one slide, um, but they can still get through these with the arrows or by swiping on their phone. Um, so you could put up the entire week's worth of agenda slides or however you use this. They can still arrow through it or swipe through it um, on their phone, even though that navigation bar is not there. And then, obviously, on this one, it's the same thing. It just has um, a different um, size to it. It's much larger, but they can still arrow. I'm just pushing the arrows on my keyboard to navigate through it. And again, videos still play, audio still works, animation and all that. Okay, so they can do it that way. Um, so you could post your lesson video on the website and they can play it right within the website or you can link to it through one of your slides that you've inserted um, into the website. Okay. So in order to insert it into the website, let's just get rid of some of these. Okay. So you can go over here and click embed or you can double click right here and um, click the embed symbol and then we want to get the embed code from our presentation so when you publish your slides right when you click on publish to the web um, you will get a link to it but you actually want the embed code for this so you're gonna grab your embed code we're gonna embed a size small you can click to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, restart after um, the last slide if you wanted to. You can also restrict it to um, within your district or your domain. So you're going to copy that code and then we're going to embed that in here. And the only thing that you have to add to get rid of the navigation menu, so if I just post this as is, it would have a navigation menu on it. But if I go in here right after this um, 3000, and that's just the, um, this, the how long it takes 
to s advance to the next slide. That's the delay. So you could even change that if you wanted there to be a different um, time in between slides, you could change that. But we just want to add um, a render mode to this. So I'm going to do and rm equals minimal. So I want the render mode to be the minimal version, which takes out that navigation menu. So right after that 3000, I just added and rm equals minimal. Okay, so then I'm going to hit next, insert, and then you can adjust this so you can see the whole thing. And then you can grab it and drag it to center it if you want to or move it, you know, wherever you want. And so there we go. So if I go to preview, I can see my small slide and it um, doesn't have that navigation menu at the bottom. Okay. All right, now if I want to add a different size, I would go back to here, change this, let's say we want to put a medium one in, and then we're going to, um, so that automatically changed the size, and you can customize this size if you want to. The height and the width are right here within the HTML code, so you can just grab that if you want and change those numbers, um, but I'm going to just copy this because this is the medium size. Go back to my website, double click, embed, switch to embed code, paste this in, and again, I'm gonna remove the navigation menu, so I'm gonna write and rm equals minimal. Next, and then you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing, and that's okay, just hit insert. And then you can drag this out. You're still not going to be able to see the whole thing. But if you go to preview, it shows the entire slide. And again, this is a great size for the PC, not so great for the mobile device. But that is how you um, embed your slides in Google Sites. I hope that helps. Thanks guys. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing and turn on that notification bell so that way you get a notification next time I post a new video. Thanks again guys.